Here in Brussels, close to the European Parliament, Animal Health Europe are staging their annual conference. Last year, the event very much involved introducing their new name and their new identity. But those are both now a very familiar part of their activities in Europe. This year, innovation is very much a theme of the conference. I think a lot of that innovation depends on fundamental discovery science and that's really where we come into it. So we are trying to improve at the fundamental biological level our understanding of the biology of animals and of the pathogens that infect them and uh, using that information then to develop new approaches to disease prevention and promoting the health and productivity of livestock. Innovation uh, plays a, a major role to support the, the farmers which are more than 9 million farmers in, uh, in Europe providing for more than 500 million Euro European citizens safe food. We cannot do this alone, so we need uh, scientists, researchers, and we have to bring them together, ultimately to get it really to the field and farmers can use them to improve their way of livestock farming. Well, as part of the event this year, Animal Health Europe took members of the media and also interested parties into Holland and there we were able to see two extremely interesting businesses. One, a young farmer who was taking over his family business on a dairy farm and the other, well, it's an extremely innovative poultry business. The ethos of today is, is that, that, that uh, in particular, when you look to the history of European farming, we have produced more and more, in the end, for global markets, uh, low cost price, uh, efficient farming. And what we have seen today are two farmers who try to adapt to changing requirements from society and make that clear decision either to stay producing for the global market, either to start uh, a, a very innovative uh, concept uh, with, with, with clear sustainable uh, targets. We have a dairy farm with uh, 350 cows, uh, with 200 heifers and uh, about uh, 140 hectares. The challenges uh, today for a young farmer, I think it's uh, to reduce antibiotics and to increase the, 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 life, uh, the lifetime of the cows. I think that's a very, very uh, important thing for the young farmers nowadays. I'm a veterinarian on this farm for about 10 years. And during all these years, we try with the family and myself to keep in close contact. I visit this farm once a week for the regular checks. And once in every three or four months, we sit together with the food advisor with my opinion as a vet and with some someone from the artifi artificial insemination company to discuss the animal health matters, to discuss what problems the farmer sees and what problems we can manage and what we can do on management level to improve the health and the measurement of the cows. Meanwhile, back at the conference, there was an interesting panel discussion highlighting precision farming, which can include anything from the use of high-tech drones to monitor farms to simple collars on cattle that collect valuable data. When we're talking about innovation and precision farming, there are, there are three main areas to take into account. That's research, development and then also implementation, making sure that, that whatever has been researched and developed, that it is also applicable on farm level in terms of financing, uh, but also in terms of, of finding real, real solutions uh, to, to the farmers, their, their daily problems and, uh, and challenges. I think innovation, precision agriculture is going to be at the, the core of what we do going forward. Because to meet our international agreements on COP21, for instance, and the Sustainable Development Goals, we need to be able to produce more or the equivalent amount using less inputs. And the only way we can do that is through measurement. If you can measure, you can manage. Public investment in basic research and a modern regulatory system lies at the heart of an innovative European animal sector. Well, the conference here in Brussels was given a brief insight into a campaign being staged by Animal Health Europe this year. We've been going around Europe talking to people from different walks of life and asking them what animal health really means to them. Nowadays, the truth uh, in uh, science, this is definitely not uh, the most retweeted uh, information on the internet. This is something different and the researchers uh, have to be involved uh, in uh, making the gold standard in terms of uh, knowledge. I think our conference today was um, very fruitful. Many uh, 
exchange of thoughts, especially about how partnership is uh, a way forward, how sharing knowledge is essential and how any new tools that we would be developing or innovating should be uh, affordable and accessible both to our farmers, to the vets and to uh, the public at large. And finally, after a packed agenda at the conference here in Brussels, don't forget to catch up on that campaign at hashtag Animal Health Matters. This is Nick Wood in Brussels reporting from the Animal Health Europe conference, saying bye for now. <laughs>